All right, guys, thanks for joining me today. Uh, on this C Ray 260, I uh, start out by doing the acid wash on the hull, which is now done, and I'm moving on to the first step in the buffing process, and that's identifying any scratches and scuffs. And I'm kind of just walking around and pointing those out right here. I'm going to be using a rotary machine, it's called a Flex Rotary Buffer. It's right there in the shot. It's got a wool pad. I'm going to be using Diamond Cut by Meguiar's mixed with a professional grade polymer sealant. We mix it generally about 50-50 and that combination works really well to polish out both scratches and scuffs but also just to restore the shine and remove any light to moderate oxidation. In this case, this boat, because it's black, it just had a lot of scratches and scuffs on it that were very visible. I'm applying right here directly to the scratch on the boat and then using kind of what I call the shoulder of the buffer to kind of press down on one edge as I'm going the direction I'm traveling. So when I'm going left, I'm pressing down kind of on the left top shoulder of the buffer and then when I'm moving right, I'm transferring my pressure to the top right shoulder and working in that product over those scratches to remove them. Now in this case, I'm applying product right to the, the surface just to make sure it's really on the area that I'm trying to buff those scratches out. A lot of times you'll see me apply product to the pad, like right here. And that's when I've got a bigger, flatter section I want to work. And in that case, after I do this upper under the rub rail edge, I start working it more flat. I'm basically avoiding some of the uh, hardware on the outside of this gel coat. There's a little stainless ring right there that's for the bilge pump or, or some type of pump in the boat, but most likely a bilge pump. Yeah, I don't think anything else comes out. <laughs> and then I've, I'm working around the Sea Ray emblem right there. You want to be careful with those. A lot of times they have a plastic cover on them. And if you're aggressive over that, and even if you're just not careful, you can scuff or mar that Sea Ray emblem. So you want to be real careful around that and try and work around it, not over it. So this first pass, I'm just hitting right under the rub rail, that upper edge of gel coat to get rid of all these scuffs. Now I could have just done it as, you know, front or back to front, top to bottom, but I wanted to get those scuffs and scratches out as good as I could. And so I just kind of said, okay, I want to do this piece first and then I'll go back through and do the rest of it. And that helps me just to focus on getting those scratches and scuffs all the way done. I find that when I just try and do it as part of the whole detail, sometimes in my mind I start thinking, okay, I gotta hurry up, I've gotta rush. And so I wanna just do it separately. That helps me to just break it into a smaller piece, focus on that piece, and work through it. And obviously, this, even at twice the speed of the actual time it took, it, it was pretty quick. Just getting all the scuffs and scratches out didn't take all that long. And here I'm just showing where those scratches were. There was down one down the bottom left below that 2018 sticker. There were some more right up in here. And then there were some real decent ones over here. There's a piece of lint not right by that Sea Ray emblem. It's nothing. So a little bit of scratching right up here, middle of the frame. Um, that's just a deep scratch. Sometimes things rub hard enough on these gel coats that you're not going to be able to get them out. If you continue to buff on those, you're just going to damage the gel coat because they're too far. Now in some cases when they're real deep like that, you can color sand or wet sand using 400 sandpaper and then stepping that up to finer and finer all the way out to 2000 and then finally polishing out with just straight diamond cut and a wool pad 
in this case, I didn't feel like those were going to come out even with wet sanding because of how deep they were, so I just left it at buffing. All right, well, hopefully this video helped you just see what you can do and gave you a little bit of information to help you get started or maybe further what you're doing. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them for me, and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. And as always, uh, keep it clean.